tell us a bit more about the client server relationship in Tumblebit. So it's similar to the central coordination of Wasabi, but instead of just blind signatures, you have a, a secret, uh, you have puzzle administration, and then the puzzles are solved for. Um, and this happens as an off chain exchange. So you sort of exchange value at off chain, but you can you can have a voucher for the value you put into the payment channel at a later time. Okay, so you you quote unquote deposit some money into this uh, payment hub, and at a later point you can withdraw the money. Um, now that kind of sounds at first like some custodial scheme. So what happens with your money after you put it in? Who can spend it? Is there someone else than you that can spend your Bitcoin? So you put your money into a time lock contract. And for doing that, you also get a, um, I should say Alice locks her money in a time lock contract and receives a solution for a puzzle that would release that. And then the puzzle is given to Bob on the other side. And then Alice and Bob communicate out of band. So Alice, if she gets paid by Bob, will, instead of sending Bitcoin, give release the solution to the puzzle. And then Bob can release the funds without having any connection between them on chain. So like that um, solution exchange would happen over a Tor circuit. Uh -huh. So so Alice has a secret, basically. And if and whoever knows the secret can spend the Bitcoin off this payment hub channel. Uh, and now if Alice gives that secret over to Bob, then of course he can spend those Bitcoin. Um, but how about double spending? Because Alice still knows that secret and so she could still spend those Bitcoin. Yeah, I think the reason that this uh, protocol never really took off is because it's so complicated to explain. And I'm not even sure that I actually grasp it enough to explain it to someone else. <laughs> but from what I remember, the secrets given to Alice blinded. So Alice can actually send the secret while it's still blinded, um, along with some verification that it's accurate from the coordinator server or the tumbler, I guess we'd call it in Tumblebit. And then Bob would be able to unblind that and receive the payment.